My name's Guy Kesteven and I've been a professional biking kit tester for nearly 25 years and I've got a new van, it's a Transit long wheelbase uh, double cab uh, and I needed some bike storage for it because there's loads of room in it but the fixing points are a bit awkward in terms of making bikes stand up, it tends to fall over. Uh, so I was going to do myself something homemade out of pallets but would have been really ropey and not work properly. Uh, and then uh, I was well. I'd already I'd already used bike stow uh, with some photographers, uh, mainly Russ Burton, and just thought it's a super neat solution. And I was you know, I'll be honest, I'm a tight Yorkshireman. I was going to copy the design and you know build something ramshackle myself. Then kind of Russ told me about the story behind it, which is that it's it's a totally family company uh, based in Birmingham, and the whole design was kind of developed by. Uh, their son George as kind of his uh, six one project and they booked a stand I mean it was just purely for their own uh, to use for their own bikes when they were traveling but the level having used Russ's the level of engineering and design and just the ease of use I was just like do you know what it's a nice van let's do it properly and let's let's put some money behind a young startup company who've properly done things right and produced a brilliant product. So here we go. Uh, this is the four berth uh, bike stow, and uh, let me just get the bubble wrap off, and uh, we can have a close up look at it. And I have to say, the quality of this is absolutely first class. I mean, I've gone for the laminated version, uh, which is a bit stronger, a bit stiffer, uh, so it can take up to three inch tires in a 27.5. Uh, the uh, just the the naked one, for want of a better word, uh, plain is uh, it's cheaper, but it's not quite as tough and stiff. And so they they suggest you only go up to a 2.6 tire in this. But I mean, this will fit a full range of bikes. So it'll, uh, you can see, you know, here's the instructions here. It'll do mountain bike, it'll do road bike, gravel bike, anything you want, up to 29 a wheel uh, by 2.6. So it's going to be perfect for what I want it for. And just, you know, just the detail on it. You've got a really nice gloss logo on there. The machining, it's all CNC router made. Uh, you've got more bike, you're not very well lit, but you can see the bike stow logo up there as well. And these, and these really neat alloy guillotine sliders here, which is what holds the back wheel in place. And the only assembly you've got to do is just take these little uh, sort of bottle cage style bolts out and then uh, put these really neat little rubber thumb wheels in, you know, to make it manually adjustable. So, uh, I mean, the only reason they haven't done that in the factory is because uh, it would spoil the flat packing. But you even get the webbing straps for holding it down. And, you know, it's literally started off with them making these in the uh, in the back, in their garage. Uh, but they've actually just invested in some premises and their own CNC router. So it, the whole thing is just like totally done in-house. Kind of, uh, you know, the various members of the family. You know, it was Julie the mom who I had a chat with when I ordered, you know, and... Uh, so we've got the details through from her, you know, it's uh, dad and uncle who kind of are the, were the really keen original mountain bikers who've like done, you know, proper marathon stage races. Like, you know, I think, yeah, there's, 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 there's even pictures of them doing the Cape Epic on their website. And, uh, and then the son, George, who's the guy who kind of did a lot of the development as part of his schoolwork and he's now at college. So I just love the fact that this design is kind of funding, you know, a young engineer through college. I think that's awesome. And... I'm very, very pleased uh, that I've invested in it because it looks the absolute shizzle. It looks excellent. That's right. And there's magnetic catches, so when it's flat packed, it uh, stays in position. So uh, from here, all we do is we just stand it up, and there you go. It's literally that simple. It even comes with uh, webbing straps to hold it into place on the lash points. So, and obviously this is the big four byte one, it also, this is obviously the big four byte one, it also comes in a three and a two. And it comes in this black laminate and it also comes in various limited edition colours as well. Uh, just check on the Bike Store website to see what they're offering at any given time. Uh, but, pleased to say, you know, these things are selling like hotcakes, so you might have to wait a bit for your preferred one. But they are constantly producing them, it's just, you know, it's just great, you know, they're such a good product, they've also had great take-up, and uh, anyway, I'm going to get it strapped into the van and get a bike into it, and uh, show you exactly how it works. So, there you go, simple as that, uh, you know, 
Well, that's a large Mondraker Crafty. Uh, I mean, obviously you can get an extra large, but that's uh, that's pretty much one of the longer bikes you're going to uh, ever want to put in a van. And uh, like I say, this is a, a long wheelbase, uh, but it's a crew cab, so it's only 180 centimeters front to rear, and uh, you know, beautifully securely held in place there. Big old 2.6 Maxxis tire, uh, 29er, fitting very securely. Like I say, all you do is just undo that little slider there, and that. Little guillotine comes down, holds it in place, but it's shaped so it'll take a road bike or a gravel bike, whatever, uh, whatever size wheel you want. And they're also working on adapter kits for kids' bikes. Uh, if you've got a whole tribe of bikes to, to uh, supply, but yeah, cradle top and bottom there. You know, just little detail features like these uh, ver these horizontal members here are held into place with uh, magnetic catches. So you know, it all just it all just pops together beautifully. I have to say. This is a proper masterpiece of design. This really, you know, I saw it in the back of Russ's van, but now I've put it together uh, myself. You really can appreciate the level of design that's gone into this. And considering the quality, uh, I reckon this is, I mean, this cost me just over 300 quid, including that. And I reckon, I reckon that's a proper bargain for the convenience. And obviously, because it's flat pack, you can just pop it into, you know, if you want to use your van for something else, you can just flatten pack it, or you can bring it into the house, use it as a work stand in there. And, you know, if this wasn't a uh, e-bike, that'd be spinning the chain. So you could even use it as a kind of mechanical work stand for working on your drivetrain if you wanted, or at least spin the uh, pedals backwards to get some lube on there after a ride. But I have to say, I am super impressed with this. Uh, yeah, so, awesome job, bikes though. Uh, probably, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon this is my favourite bike related product of the year so far. Uh, and I know I'm not the first person to say that, but you know, if you're hauling bikes about in vans and you're just sick of like padding them, bungeeing them, and them falling over, getting scratched, all that palaver, this, this is a brilliant solution. And I love the fact that it's a proper homegrown uh, UK family enterprise. That's just something I've, I, you know, I always like to get behind. So, Top Works, the late family. Uh, absolutely brilliant solution uh so if you you know want to learn more about bike stow get on bikestow.com i'm sure julie will be happy to talk to you uh talk to you about any details that i might have missed off all the stats measurements and everything uh are on the site but basically the short of it is uh two three or four bike uh versions in various colors and it'll take pretty much any bike you want in there and hold it super securely and it's beautifully made really really nice piece of design almost bordering on yeah that's design art that is i reckon well as far as i understand art anyway uh my parents did take me around a lot of art galleries as a kid but it really didn't sink in i was more interested in engineering but oh god i'm rambling right anyway i'm guy kestevan uh i've just bought a bike stow which i'm terribly happy about and uh yeah thanks very much well Thanks very much to Bikesto for letting me film this little video on their product. Uh, they also have their own YouTube channel as well, sort of covering what they're doing new uh, on with the products and how they're developing as a company. So I'll put a link to there in the end of the uh, video. But also thanks to my Patreon supporters uh, who give a small monthly amount to the channel uh, to let me do unsponsored videos like this. And uh, they get extended early and behind the scenes edits as a thank you. But for now, I've been Guy Kestevan on Guy Kest TV, talking about the four berth bike rack from Bikesdale. Absolutely bob on.